Hey, welcome back. It's wonderful to see your smiling faces. In the last video about these bedrooms, we talked about creating a three-dimensional space with a floor, with two walls, with a ceiling, and then with a third wall in the back of the room. We talked about using a vanishing point to create the perspective, having these walls point towards the vanishing point, having the doors point to the vanishing point, having the floorboards all point to the same vanishing point. And what this does is it creates a room that where it looks like all these floorboards are parallel to each other. It looks like the walls and the ceiling and the doors are all parallel to each other because of that one vanishing point. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the same vanishing point to create some furniture, like a bed, like a table, maybe a chair if we get that far. Because this is a learning exercise and not like a finished drawing, instead of trying to draw the furniture into here and having to erase and overlap things, I'm gonna flip the paper over and practice here on the back, showing you with a new vanishing point right in the middle, how to draw a bed on one side, a table on the other, etc. Now, if we look at Vincent van Gogh's bedroom painting as a reference, the bed is on the lower right side. So here in our practice, we'll draw a bed down on the lower right side, down and to the right from the vanishing point. The way we'll start is by drawing the part that's closest to us, which in this case is gonna be the footboard of the bed, which uh, is a pretty simple shape, just some posts with a rectangle between, two posts with a rectangle between. We don't need to go into all the detail of the wood grain and all that. Maybe it has a curvy, bumpy, uppy part between those two posts. And that's the footboard of the bed. Now, we're going to treat this kind of like a cube. If you remember when we drew shapes and forms in a different video, when we drew a cube, we started with a square and we made these little diagonal lines that come out and then we connected them, right? Well, this is kind of the way we're gonna do it, but not quite. Uh, we, we're, when we do this, we don't want the bed to go this way because the walls and the floor are all going towards the vanishing point and if we have the bed going that way it's not going to be parallel to the wall so instead we're going to draw those those diagonal lines coming out from it we're going to draw them towards the vanishing point so from the vanishing point to the corner of the bed from the vanishing point to the other post, from the vanishing point to the bottom of the post, and why not? We'll do one to this post as well. Okay, so those guidelines are where we're gonna make the headboard at the other end of the bed. So if we see these two lines, top and bottom, those go to the top and bottom of this post, so they're going to go to the top and bottom of the same post on the headboard. So there's a post for the headboard. Now we need to look at these two lines as guides for where the top and bottom of this post should be, but on the headboard back at the back of the bed. And then we simply make that rectangle and bumpy bit. And we can erase these guides at this time. So now we have the footboard and the headboard, and it kind of looks like hurdles, like you could be running, jump over one, run, jump over the other one, and keep going down the track. But what we want to do is have a mattress between them. To do that, we need some more guides from this vanishing point. So I want to think about the board that uh, the mattress is going to rest on. That's going to be kind of low. 
So that is going to need some thickness too. So what I've done is drawn two lines from the vanishing point that come to about the area where I want that, uh, that board under the mattress to be. And I can go ahead and darken those lines, but erase all of this. So now it looks like those two hurdles have a board connecting them. Immediately on top of that, I need the mattress. So I need another vanishing line, uh, a line to the vanishing point, from the vanishing point to where I want the top of the mattress to be. Okay, so that's the side of the mattress and the board underneath it. But we also need to see the top of the mattress, which is gonna cover up what's behind it, what, you know, the headboard behind it. So here's the top of the mattress. And we need to see this other side of the mattress, which should also be a line coming from the vanishing point through the side of the mattress. Like that. Again, darken that line up. Erase everything inside of it because you can't see through a mattress on a bed. And we can erase these extra guides. And now that bed looks kind of long, but you get the idea. Notice the footboard is bigger. The headboard is much smaller. Compare that size to that. Usually it's the other way around. Usually the headboard is bigger, but in this case, it's farther away, so it looks smaller. And notice that the direction of the bed is pointing towards the vanishing point. If you want now, you could take a moment to draw some pillows, maybe some bed sheets hanging down, quilts on the bed, those kinds of things. And then we'll move on and make a table on the other side. So if the bed was on the right side of the room, the table on the left side, they're still going to be parallel pointing towards the same vanishing point, even though one of them's on the other side of the room. So to draw the table, we'll start by drawing the front of the table like a side view. So I'm drawing how thick the table is, and I'm drawing the table legs. And then, just like I did for the bed, I'm going to draw lines coming from the corners towards the vanishing point. And I probably don't want the table to be as long as the bed. I probably want it to be shorter. So the back end of the table isn't going to be way up here. It's going to be closer down here. And I can look at the table top. It uses these two lines as a guide. And so I'll draw the back end of the tabletop between those same two guides, this one and this one. I'll also draw the table legs with these guides. So this guide here will be the bottom of this table leg. Uh-oh, it's gonna overlap behind that table, isn't it? And this guide will serve as a, a reference for this table leg. Now, we need to consider that everything inside this table, every, everything we've drawn inside of there needs to be erased because uh, unless it's a glass table, we aren't going to be able to see through it. And so notice that this one leg pokes out below the other leg, we see the whole leg. Let's give that some thickness there. Uh, we see the whole leg, but this one, we only see a tiny little bit of it poking out from underneath. And notice they're at the same height. Also notice that the table is pointing towards the same vanishing point that the bed points to. And at this point, if you wanted to add something like a lamp or a plate or you know something on the table, that's fine. So we've done a piece of furniture on the right. We've done a piece of furniture on the left. What if there's a piece of furniture straight in the middle up against the back wall of the room and it's just 
directly underneath the vanishing point. Let's make a dresser. We'll start with a rectangle showing us the front of the dresser. We could draw some drawers. with little handles or knobs. There's really no way to, no wrong way to do it. And we'll want to be able to see the top of the dresser. So from the top two corners, we'll draw a line to the vanishing point. And then we'll see how uh, far back it goes. It's going to be very narrow. And we can darken those lines a little bit and erase the extra guide. And there we have a dresser. It's that easy. Basically just a trapezoid on top. So what we notice is that all of these objects, just like the floor, just like the doors, just like uh, the everything that we drew, the ceiling, the walls, pointing towards the vanishing point. This uses all the same concepts we learned in our how to draw three-dimensional forms video, but uses a vanishing point to make all of these objects look parallel. If, if you draw a table with a different vanishing point, then it's going to look like it's just tilted a different direction. Let me show you what I mean. So this table, if we carry these lines on out, the vanishing point for this table would be off on this side. Whereas this table has a vanishing point over here. And notice how those two tables look like they're angled at different ways. They're not parallel to each other. One of them is, you know, straight, and the other one is wonky off at a different angle. And it's not against the rules to do that. In fact, if you look at Van Gogh's bedroom, the table in the corner actually does get tilted and twisted at a different angle. It's not parallel to the bed. It's not parallel to the walls. It's turned at an angle in that corner of the room. So now we've learned all the different steps in, in how to create a space, an interior space, with walls, ceiling, floors, doors, and we've also learned how to add furniture into that room. Now it's your turn to make your own bedroom or other interior space.